Peter, Paul, and Mary started to sing Bob Dylan's songs when Albert Grossman brought an acetate of Blowing in the Wind, and this song was so stunning and so magical that we uh, took it right away, made an arrangement, went into the studio and recorded it. They always wanted to, to, to sing, I think, songs which, which had real import, which were really something which would help to try and change this world. And they came along at the height of that civil rights struggle. And they had the ears of the whole world, particularly of this country. And I think this march will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, demonstrations for freedom and human dignity ever held in the United States. Mary speaks of the moment of recognition of the March on Washington in 1963, which Martin Luther King delivered his Eye of a Dream speech, as her first recognition of something that has been primary in our relationship. And now, a group of singers who have come to help express and song what this great meeting is all about. I give you now Peter, Paul, and Mary. We started to sing, and I had an epiphany looking out at this quarter of a million people. And I truly believed at that moment it was possible that human beings could join together to make a positive social change. all of a sudden the lyrics are coming out you know and how many years will it take before people can be free and you're thinking wow this is it this is the integration of everything that you sing and you feel strongly and the moment there was a breakout in the thinking a desire to say let us think for ourselves independently we won't be the instrument of somebody else's intent but we will really be a different kind of people living in a different kind of society. The answer is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind.
of justice It's a bell of freedom It's a song about love Between the brothers and the sisters Oh, 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 oh.